Okay. Hi. Thank you for coming to this session. It's quite full, actually, considering there's so many sessions going on at the same time. So um, I feel really privileged as well with so many um, wonderful speakers here at the same time and sharing these stories that are so inspiring. So it's quite a responsibility to come after all of you and say something relevant. <laughs> Well, um, I'd like to start by introducing myself, um, as I did yesterday in, in the plenary session. People, all, we always ask each other, okay, so what do you do, right? And um, I've come to the conclusion that what I do, whatever I'm doing, is hold space for the reunion of human and divine. That's what I do, whatever I'm doing. But I also, of course, work in different areas though the reunion of human and divine is always happening because that's what happens when we've done it for ourselves that's what we become so we become whatever we allow ourselves to step into uh, i work in education and i also work in um, personal development spiritual and um, i would not say healing because i do not believe in in the sense in that sense that coming together is healing it is simply living um, the theme here for this session is um, rebuilding rebuilding right rebuilding your life though I would I would boldly say we do not rebuild we build because we never really go back to what was before and that's not even the aim, because if we don't learn to let go of the old story, we'll never be able to experience the new one. So um, I would say that the experience of life is not an experience of starting over or rebuilding anything. It's a constant building anew. And for that, um, it is essential to let go. And I would say that um, my success in life has totally dependent on, uh, depended on becoming an excellent loser. So, um, and, and what does that mean? Because everyone wants to be a winner, right? Well, that means exactly being able to fit into each moment as it comes to me of course related to what i have chosen moment to moment to experience but if i don't um, uh, walk into the space of losing so letting go giving up on the last moment i cannot really fully embrace this now moment as it is and as it comes to me. And I've come to realize that no matter how much we try to predict or imagine or envision what things might be like if we choose to go this way or if we choose to go that way, when we really trust, like 100% trust, and let go of these expectations of what it's going to look like, oh my God, it totally blows our mind. Because what comes our way is so enthralling, so amazing, so beautiful, like, like this experience that we're living right here this weekend and this very moment with so many inspiring people who are not just talking about doing things, who are actually living their dreams and helping others live their dreams as well and creating a better world together, really and honestly and truly. So this is not the kind of conference we come to and try, like the lady uh, MP was saying, try to solve problems that never get solved. No, it's people who are really doing things. So um, I've come to, to understand that if I kept attached to, so I do make my conscious choice, but my conscious choice is only one. I hand over <coughs> to my divine expression. And if I do that, 
everything's perfect and safe 100% of the time. So what has happened is this magical experience of discovering um, a comfort zone that's per permanent. It never, ever goes away. So that makes it really very interesting to live the adventure of life because life is not a comfort zone. And that's amazing and fantastic. If we can embrace life just the way it is, it's not supposed to be a comfort zone. And trying to find that comfort zone just keeps us running around in circles like the dog trying to, to bite its tail, right? And we're never going to get there. But when we find that safe space inside, that one, it never, ever goes away. There's no way we can wash it out once we've jumped into it and really let ourselves soak it in so much that we are it. So we become our own safe space, so to say. So um, i just quickly go through the experience of um, why, why do I say I'm an expert loser? And, <laughs> and first of all, one little thing, success to me just means living a fulfilling, purposeful life. That's all. That's what success means to me. So when I say I have discovered what success is and I am successful, that's just it. I don't need anything else. So that, that's also part of the letting go of what I thought success was. I had many ideas about that, and I have um, initiated different businesses and let go of them when I got fed up. So um, not because they were not successful, it's just because, okay, done that, now let's go and do something new, hand it over to someone else, and fortunately, the someone else's I've handed over my businesses to have always thrived. So I'm very happy that I started. I'm, I'm a starter, yeah, and, uh, a pioneer. I always like starting new things. And then after a while, OK, now let's just start something else. OK. So um, I was also born in Zimbabwe and then lived in Italy and in Portugal started several businesses when I was a child. I had to learn the new languages <coughs> to the new places I went, so that was always very, very challenging. And I always felt very flustered with the, the troubles of the world. And I felt like committing suicide lots and lots of times throughout my lifetime, even when I was a child. And there was this voice that came to me and always said, you know, this stuff you're going to be doing here, and you're really going to make a difference, so stay, you know. Yeah. Then I understood if, I, if I'd done it, gosh, it would keep me coming and on and on and on again. So, well, fortunately, the voice worked, and it kept me cuddled and warm in those moments I felt lost and empty and useless and all of those things that we've all been through, right? So I've had lots of illnesses, chronic, other non-chronic. I've been addicted mainly to adrenaline, which many of us are or have been. And um, I was addicted to exercise. I've had uh, also, um, I suffered with bulimia. Um, I've overcome all of these things, all of these diseases, everything. How? Simply by giving up giving up on who I thought I was, giving up on what I thought I wanted, giving up on what I thought I needed, even giving up on my dreams. And I only kept one. And my only dream was to live a meaningful, purposeful, fulfilling life. That's all. And I've overcome 250,000 euros in debt. And at the moment, I'm totally debt free. Don't ask me how I did it, because I really don't know. I just trusted. There was this, I, I put myself against the wall. I, I brought myself into a situation in which there was no other choice but to give in and say, okay, 
guide me. I have no idea how to get myself out of this. So when we think, we, many times uh, our mind gets us into believing that um, our soul, our essence, our divine knows nothing about human stuff. It's not true. It knows about everything. And it can get us out of absolutely anything, just so long as we give up on who we think we want to be and what we think we want to do. And at the moment, actually, I also do a lot of philanthropy and other things, but really, in a sense, it's not about what we do. It's about being completely that that we are, wherever we are, whoever we are with. And that will make a difference, even if we don't say a word or if we don't do a thing. Our very presence changes lives when we allow ourselves to let go of everything. And I'm sure that you would back this up with, with me, because I'm sure you've experienced this many times, that you don't even, many times you don't even need to say anything or do anything to make a difference in anyone's life. So, for me, the purpose of life is just to be, whatever.